This video will present solutions to the VCE 2024 Mathematical Methods, Written Examination 2, Section A, Questions 1 to 5. Question 1 asks about the asymptotes of the graph of this logarithmic function, which is a translation of the graph of y equals natural log x. If the graph of the natural log function is familiar to you, then you will know that it has no horizontal asymptotes and has a vertical asymptote with equation x equals 0. Due to the translation of this function in the negative x direction, its asymptote will have equation x equals minus 1, which is answer A. If the graph of this function is not familiar, then it could be drawn using your class pad. Such a graph would provide enough information to eliminate answers B, C and D, confirming our thinking. Question 2 asks us to find a function value for g of x, given its derivative g dashed x and initial condition. One way to answer this question is to find g of x by integration. Due to the relative simplicity of the integration, I'll do it without my cas. g of x will be equal to a quarter x to the power of 4 minus a half x squared plus c. As g of 0 equals 0, c equals 0. With g of x determined, g of 2 can be found and will be equal to a quarter times by 16 minus a half times by 4 plus 5, which equals 7. And so the answer is d. Another way to find g of 2 is to start with the value of g of 0 and add to it the net change in the function from 0 to 2, which can be found by integrating the rate of change function g dash dx from x equals 0 to x equals 2. I'm going to do this on my class pad. This calculation confirms that the answer is D. Question 3 provides us with tabular information about a discrete random variable x, with probabilities expressed in terms of k. Whilst we could start off by calculating the value of k relatively easily, this question really does not require it. The conditional probability asked for is equal to the probability of x between 1 and 4 over the probability of x greater than 1. This is equal to the probability of x equals 2 plus the probability of x equals 3 over probability of x equals 2 plus probability of x equals 3 plus probability of x equals 4. In this fraction, all the k's cancel and we get a probability of 8 over 10 or 4 over 5, which is answer C. Question 4 provides us with the value of some definite integrals of the function f of x for regions between values a, b and c. These sorts of questions are often tackled best by starting with the idea that the definite integral from a to b plus the definite integral from b to c of some function f of x is equal to the definite integral of that function from a to c. Into this statement, we can substitute the definite integral values that we have been given. And with a little rearrangement, we can find that the definite integral from b to c of f of x is equal to 8. Using definite integral properties, we know that the definite integral of 2 times f of x is equal to 2 times the definite integral of f of x. And so our answer is 2 times 8, which is 16. Question 5 asks about the range of a composite function g of f of x. This can be found by thinking about the ranges of the two functions f and g. The graph of f looks like this. By symmetry, this parabola has a minimum value at x equals 2, with a function value at that point of 4 take 8, which is minus 4. As such, the range of f is from minus 4 to infinity. The exponential decay function g looks like this. And so g of f of x has an endpoint at g of negative 4, which is e to the 4. So, the range of g of f of x is the y values between this endpoint of e to the 4 and its asymptotic value of 0, i.e. greater than 0 and less than or equal to e to the 4. As such, the answer is d. 
Another way to obtain this information is to find the maximum and minimum values of the composite function directly. This can be done on a class pad using the fmax and fmin commands. In the main app, first enter g of f of x. Now swipe it and then call up fmax by tapping interactive calculation. Adjust the start value to 1 to reflect the domain of f and then tap OK. For fmin, a similar sequence can be followed, but I prefer to duplicate the fmax command and then edit it using the ABC keyboard to find the function's minimum over the same domain. With this information, we can see that g of f of x has a limit of 0 as x approaches infinity and a maximum value of e to the power of 4, giving us the range found previously.